40 days, 40 nights. Wasn't I being nice last night? I had been like, yo, I hate when people try to mess up your zen. Like people been been chilling. You feel me? Yeah, re listen real good. Exactly. Misery loves company. We be, we was, we was zenning, we was zenning when, when, when Paul was out. I just want to say, they can't, they can't live without Keisha. You feel me? They can't live without Keisha. DMX is done. DMX is over with. Y'all know what? Good. Shout out the girl. Um, shout out to um Heaven on Earth. They try to drag my my little. She like how you you should be ashamed of yourself. Exactly. No, exactly that the video, video was not cut up. Everything they want to say is cut up. That is exactly what you said out of your mouth is because you're stupid and that's exactly how you feel. You feel that women, let's, first of all, shout out to heaven for even noticing that because I, I, I was, I was going to speak on that and I didn't even get a chance to, but shout out to heaven and tell me if this is cut up. I was actually going to make a video about this. I ain't even get it. I, I, I let I let that nigga live. This is what the this is what this is what this thing said. So let me let me go ahead and pull up. So if people want to pull up receipts, let me pull up the real um, YouTube guidelines. What they determine is hate speech, and what actually what is hate speech? Let's just type in the the, the term. Hate speech definition. Abusive or threatening speech or writing that expresses prejudice against a particular group, especially the basis of religion or sexual orientation. That's hate speech. That's hate speech. Nobody, no company, no sponsor, YouTube, nobody actually endorses hate speech. Now, the reason why what I see on my platform isn't in hate speech, because when I have an opinion about somebody's character, that's a black woman, um, you're not protected under an individualized group. So that's why you can never report any of my, every time my videos get reported, they come, nothing happens to them. They, they just get checked and it's fine because what I'm doing is not hate speech. There is no protected group. But what was going on over there? Oh, another story. A different story. Now, I know that what, what was cut up? Wanted to speak since all this shit. What was cut? What was cut up about this part? You don't even know what the real meaning of hate speech is. So let me let me go ahead and. Pull Do y'all want to go to the video? I can't cut it up. Let me pull up the real um, YouTube guidelines. What they determine is hate speech, and what actually what is hate speech? Let's just type in the. the so this thing for that so. Somebody thought it was a clever idea to type in hate speech and see the definition of hate speech because you're so stupid that you could actually say something like this. 
And I wasn't even going to speak on this, but since you did, I will, because heaven was actually right. You just said that, what? You want to type in the definition of hate speech. Okay. The, the term. You're so smart. Smart enough to say something like this. Hate speech definition. Abusive or threatening speech or writing that expresses prejudice against a particular group, especially the basis of religion or sexual orientation. Did we cut up anything yet? Is anything cut up? Because I saw the same clip that Heaven saw. That's hate speech. Nobody, no company, no sponsor, YouTube, nobody actually endorses hate speech. Let's stop it. Now, you're saying, what, what, was, what was the reason for you to use that, huh? What was the reason for you to even speak on hate speech? Hmm? Because someone said you look like a man, but it's okay for you to talk about a woman, a black woman? Is it okay? Because it sounds like you said, that you gave the definition of hate speech. Okay. No, I can't share it on the screen because mm -mm, I ain't playing. Mm -mm. Can y'all hear it? Now, the reason why what I say on my platform isn't in hate speech. The reason why Paris, what Paris says is not in hate speech. Let's see why. Because when I have an opinion about somebody's character, that's a black woman. Is that cut up? When Paris has an opinion about a, 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 a someone's character that's a black woman? You're not protected under an individualized group. You're not protected under an individualized group. So that's why you can never report any of my, every time my videos get reported, they come, nothing happens to them. They, they just get checked and it's fine because what I'm doing is not hate speech. What, what Paris does is not hate speech. You can call a black woman whatever you want to call a black woman, but Paris can, can Paris can do that, right? Paris can call a black woman whatever you want. Whatever Paris wants to do, Paris can call a black woman. But shout out to heaven on earth. Thank you for making that video, hon. I'm glad you saw what I saw, honey. Um, Paris thinks that that's not hate speech. Because the black women are not under a protected class. But obviously Paris is under a protected class. Is that what Paris is saying? Okay. There is no protected group. But what was going on over there? Whole different story. What makes it different? You could call somebody, you could say somebody looks like a boy, and I could say you look like a boy. Hey heaven, shout out to heaven. You could say, I look, you could say, I got. If something's wrong with my cheeks, I can say something's wrong with your jaws. Hey, Evan, we got you, sis. Yeah. Now, I know the butterfly babes have been wanting to speak since all this shit has been going on. What I heard Evan say, Evan... Hey, Paul. Okay, Paul is a black woman. Okay, let's let's see how Paul defines it. Hi, Paul here. I am a black woman, and hate speech does not protect black women from being talked about in in the manner that I was speaking. White women, Asian women, or men, you took it out of context. Come explain yourself, Paris. This is the only Paul. Well, Paul, since you said your name is Paul, now I will call you Paul, and that's the only name I will give you, Paul. So come on, Paul. Come on in and define hate speech again. Come on in, Paul. Hi, Paul here. I am a black woman and hate speech does not protect black women from being talked about in, in the manner that I was speaking. White, white women, Asian women, or men. So why did you say black women? Why did you say black, oh, matter of fact, call in with your lying ass. Okay, I'm good, stop lying on me though. Have a good night. Sure, okay, cool. Okay, cool, Paul. I'm glad that's your name because that's what I will be calling you from now on. Girl, it was out of con. 
Uh, child, Paul said it was out of context. Paul, does that protect you or does it protect just everybody else? Because what, what, what would you be speaking about hate speech for, Paul? Let us know. Let us know what your lurking ass. I said black women because people kept saying my videos fell under hate speech and I cleared it. Oh God. No, Paul, you were trying to use the LGTB card and it did not work because you cannot use the LGTB card if you still are not living in your truth. Number one. But I'm glad you're here, Paul. So now that we know your name is Paul now, um, when we talk about hate speech, why did you bring that up? Because I don't know any black woman that would bring up hate speech and then speak about a black woman. What was the point? Because you tried to use the LGTB card and it didn't work. They didn't fall for it. Nobody protected you. Nobody wanted to protect you because of how hateful you had been. You tried to use it and it didn't work. You tried to use a half of a clip. You tried to use a half of a clip of what Keisha said. You wanted to take her down by your master's lipstick alley. Hmm. Oh, okay. Good night. I know you're still here, hon. Okay, let's let's see the other lie because Keisha is black and I was talking about her. Right. The reach. Y'all tried it though. No. There is no reach, Paul. There's no reach. You're just dumb and we know it. I know that you're dumb. I know that you're dumb. But you were unhinged and, and, and just melting that week. Remember? You are a disgrace. And that's just my opinion. Paris, they said, Paul, it's a backtrack for us. Just stand on the disgusting stuff that you say. Exactly, dumb dumb. You better get it. Don't get up again. Yes. So you ran off your live to give D your undivided attention. Absolutely. So Paul would like to clear up the lies first, honey. Absolutely. Yep. Lying ass Paul. Now you want to play a victim. Dang, TT, I, I was just trying to add you in there. Okay, good night. Y'all, I spoke my piece. If she continues to lie on me, that's her choice. Okay, cool. Why does your letter have so much control over you? She got you doing her dirty work again? Yep, her community post clearly got you shook. Shook and fuck shouting. So anyone can be bullied but the LGTB? Exactly. Is that correct? What is sexism? Um, what is racism? Uh, yep. What is ageism? Exactly. You forgot a few protected classes. Exactly. Thank you. I know you thought I was just a prison, uh, prison equal, but I'm not stupid and neither are the people that understand what I'm saying. It's the dummies that don't get it, but Paris, you get it. Hmm. Exactly. We know you be here all night long. So was that Exactly. Never okay. Never okay to get on here and then want to use what the, what the heaven say? Because heaven got it. I was like, child, hmm. I couldn't. I definitely couldn't have said it better. You want to be able to use. So that you basically saying it's okay if I was decide if I wanted to go date a woman, it's okay for me to say what I want as long as I'm gay. As long as I'm gay, right?
I don't care. She said she, her name was Paula or whatever. She came in and said she was Paula. Okay, so the recording that Paris is so scared about, or that this is the recording that Paris is saying that um is chopped up, which I'm not gonna play all of it, but I'll play the the important parts. Since Paris wants to continue to lie. And we've already heard this. This is when Paris is explaining how LSA has um has him by the balls. Um, so you motherfuckers contacted me after that video January twenty fifth and told me. So that y'all understand that Paris is saying. These people contacted me after that video on January 25th, which is the video that he spoke, uh, Paris spoke good on Keisha. So right now, Paris is looking for the part of the video, showing Keisha which part of the video. I, this is, have you ever heard this? Hold on. So if you didn't hear it, I'm going to play it back. But basically, Paris is saying after the video on January 25th, they caught they called Paris and chomped him to uh, chomp Paris to fuck off. That's what Paris said. Now Paris played a clip of the video. She um asked Keisha whether she had heard it or not. And she's like, no. And this on this day, the title of the video is um Keisha bossed up and took Jeremy's car. Right? 
all Paris was talking about was Keisha being the boss and finally taking Jeremy's car and just a little bit of a compliment on Keisha. Okay. The, that's what happened on January 25th. Kind of things. We know that she paid people to uh, to say nice things about her, blah 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 blah. I'm like, no, and nobody paid me to say anything. Like, let me see what questions you know, I'm supposed to hear this. I, it's a, you ever heard this? Hold on. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. So can y'all hear that parents said, and when I said something nice about you, they chomped me the fuck off. Let me play it again. They chomped me the fuck off. Um, are you talking to her kind of things? We know that she paid people to, uh, to say nice things about her, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no. And nobody paid me to say anything. Like, let me see what parts of the video I'm just hearing. Yeah. Have you ever heard this? Hold on. I'm going to report on it. And if I feel like she's doing something good, I'm going to report on it. And when I said something nice about you, this year they fucking taught me the fuck off. They taught me the fuck off. They threatened to doubt me. That was the first implicate. That was the first time that somebody sent me something about my family, but it wasn't that much, and I didn't feel any type of way about it. it so, the first time that, that Paris said something nice about Keisha, they chomped Paris the fuck off. And they threatened to dox Paris. And that's the first time that they sent um, Paris something about their family. Something about Paris's family. Too much stuff. Now but, but they didn't send Paris too much stuff. So let's go back to what Paris said. Oh, they're coming at me letting me know. Let's go back. Because Paris wants to say it's chopped up. Let's go back. Video January 26th told me. If you can Let's go back because Paris is a liar. You got to go back on these liars. The coldest liar ever. Um, these motherfuckers contacted me after that video of January 25th and told me, if you think you're going to be flipping sides, bitch, you got to fuck up. Um, are you talking to her kind of things? We know that she paid people to, uh, to say nice things about her, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no. And nobody paid me to say anything. Like, let me see what part of the video I'm just doing this. Now let me tell you guys because Paris wanted to lie and say that this video was from a long time ago. Um, um, Paris wanted to say this video was from a long time ago, and it was not. I'm gonna prove that it was not as well. Th this video was from a few days, like maybe a week ago now. This was when um, Paris made, y'all gonna see. This video was not a long time ago. Like at this point, it was about maybe a week ago. When all this stuff happened, we found out who Trollada really was right after that. Now they're coming at me letting me know what the fuck they know. So now they're coming at Paris with what, with what they know. Y'all heard that, right? If you didn't, let me play it again. And when I said something nice about you, this year they fucking chopped me the fuck off. They chopped me the fuck off. They threatened to die me. That was the first implicate. That was the first time that somebody sent me something about my family, but it wasn't that much, and I didn't feel any type of way about it. They didn't really say too much stuff. Now they're coming at me letting me know what the fuck they know. And when I said something nice about you, this year they fucking chopped me the fuck off. They chopped me the fuck off. They threatened to die me. That was the first implicate. That was the first time that somebody sent me something about my family, but it wasn't that much, and I didn't feel any type of way about it. They didn't really say too much stuff. And my family and my grandmother, my grandmother was called. She was okay, so after Keisha did the apology video, somebody came to Paris and said that, well, that Paris's family said they had been contacted. Paris's family said they had been contacted. Nine years old. My grandmother was getting calls about me. And I'm like, Paris's grandmother was getting calls about Paris. 
like, this has to be from the fucking internet. That's what I This has to be from the effing internet. I was like, girl, this is not okay. This is Girl, I was like, girl, this is not okay. She's talking to herself. Girl, this is not okay that you did that. She said that because now I'm my family is in jeopardy. Now, this week, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff saying, if you don't make this. Now, let's go back. Now, they're coming at me letting me know what the fuck they know. And after that video, after that video where you just apologized, somebody came to me and, uh, and my family just said that my grandmother, my grandmother was called. She was 90 years old. My grandmother was getting calls about me. And I'm like, this has to be from the fucking internet. That's when I was like, girl, and this is not okay that she said that because now I'm my family's in jeopardy. Now, this week, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff saying, if you don't make this video and put this the back right here about what the fuck you did this weekend. So, if you don't make this video, if you don't make this video about what the fuck D did this weekend, let, let's hear it again since you're so chopped up. After that video, after that video where you just apologized, somebody came to me and, uh, and my family just said that my grandmother, my grandmother was called. She was 90 years old. My grandmother was getting calls about me. And I'm like, this has to be from the fucking internet. That's when I was like, girl, this is not okay that she said that because now I'm my family's in jeopardy. Now, this week, I'm getting... I'm getting stuff saying if you don't make this video and put this the back right here about what the fuck D did this weekend because Keisha told her to do it. Because what D did this weekend because Keisha told her to do it. Then you're getting, you're, this is going to be exposed by her family because it's not. This is going to be exposed. So you're pretty much letting them tell you what videos to make. That's the first part of the recording. Now I recorded this myself, not Keisha. I have it in my camera. Because I know that Paris is a liar. So we've already heard it. So I'm playing it again. You're pretty much no, telling them, girl. My, am I? So what do you? So what do you want? So what do you want to do? So I gotta go. Um, do the girls' virtual learning stuff. So as far as like the ending of this, what what do you want to do to have this resolution move forward? Like I don't. I, I was contacting you because I wanted to get the the receipt, but you can't send it to me of that, and I don't even want to speak on it. Hold on. I'm trying to get this close out. Hell. Can y'all hear me? Where is it? Can y'all hear me? What? Hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, I'm trying to get the rest of it. Cause my damn camera, hold on. Close this. The, the reason why I, the reason why I, 
sent me the videos to let people know I keep saying adamantly in my videos. I don't take this girl, but that these motherfuckers understand if you are somebody that hates her, even if she should be that I feel like is due in the situation that's going on in Jersey. Now, a lot of people are thinking, what, what cops could you possibly give a t-shirt? And I really wasn't paying attention. Wait, t-shirt is part of my t-shirt. What? I'm trying to find the part. There was somebody in my Discord who hit me up, and their name was, uh, I think Keisha. And I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, you know, I was mad at me. Like, your name was literally, I hate Keisha. I'm telling you, I don't hate her. I'm telling you, I don't remember the clip. I don't want to go through it, but I said, I want to get some y'all motherfuckers. I'm not one of y'all. I don't take her. Y'all make these pages and shit. I'm not a Keisha hater. I don't like her. the stuff that I've seen. But if she do some shit that I fuck with, if you hate her, don't watch me. Because I'm going to say it. And that's it. Like, that's the biggest that's it. Like, I know that so what do you Paris said I, I know Keisha I know Keisha but I just literally played my proof played your proof what that you were being blackmailed you played your proof that you were being blackmailed you played your proof that when you talk good about Keisha you got blackmailed and now you have to make a video about me and what did you do you made a video about me they made you make those videos so tell the truth but you don't want to, so it's cool. I'm gonna play the clip again. So what do you want to do? Cause I gotta go um, do the girls' virtual learning stuff. So as far as like the ending of this, what, what do you want to do to have this resolution move forward? Like I don't. I, I was contacting because I wanted to get the the, the receipt, but you can't. Send it. Paris contacted Keisha about the receipts on Ashley. Not Ash. Not not Keisha contacting. Uh, Paris about the receipts on Ashley. So don't lie because you lied about that tonight too. And I didn't play the rest of this, but that's what it is. You, Paris, contacted Keisha about the receipts on Ashley. And I don't want to speak on it if I can't, you know, show. Keisha didn't send the receipts. Paris said um, they did that Paris did not want to um, speak on it if, if Paris didn't have receipts. But trust and believe, Paris would have spoke on it, but couldn't speak on it because of Lipstick Alley as well. Because Paris went back the next day and was like, I can't, and came back with the lips. Mm. I already know. If I, I didn't even talk about these people contacting you, because I feel like if you, if you know for a fact that they have your information, then what you need to do is save yourself. Exactly, but, but guess what Paris puts out the next day? That... D tried to dox me. D is blackmailing me. You said that, Paris. That's what. You, that's what you said. D is threatening to dox you. D said I that I was gonna um spread all your information out. That's what you said. That's what you said I did, knowing that wasn't the truth. You said that to the internet because you had to say it to the internet. Why? Because you just said it in the clip, liar. You just said, and you wanted to lie and say that this clip was from when? Weeks ago, no, it was very much so recent. It was after we found out who Trollada was. Thank you. And and I challenge you, if you, Paris, the liar, knew that it was recorded so much and you were just trying to get tea from Keisha, um, then guess what? You know what you should do? You know what you should do? Let's hear your recordings. Since you recorded them so much, let's hear yours. Exactly. She had to blame D for doxing her. I'm not a Keisha hater. Exactly. You were trying to get tea? No. You were telling the truth. I was on the phone the entire time and you know that. So she had to blame Keisha. Yep. She had to blame D. I mean, because she has to spin the narrative with, to SLSA. Right. You cannot spin that because you were talking very much so freely. Exactly. Exactly. 
Perry submitted to um, to the recording that LSA Trolletta whatever doxed and um, forced her to make uh, videos about D and Keisha. Thank you. Don't blame me for nothing. You was just over there running your mouth. You was running your mouth. So happy that you could talk to Keisha. Duh. And honestly, I wasn't even trying to record the whole thing. I just heard. First of all, parents said a whole lot about LSA, and I just didn't get get it recorded. My, I, I, I didn't. I was like, "What the hell? Hold up!" Because I know Paris is a liar. When I heard, when I heard Paris talking about that, looking for a video and all of that, I did start recording. Exactly. People wanted wanted to give you the same chance to right your wrong. You refuse. Exactly. This has a whole lot that that um girl let's talk did it and what was prayers doing in in that video girl let's talk girl let's talk exactly you're scared that, that what happened to girl let's talk today that's what you're scared of exactly paris is a pathological liar stop verbally abusing women because black women who you said are not protected exactly Exactly. I got to keep on going and on why you lied. You lied. Same recording. Paris will find a way to spin this too. Right. Oh, I was lying to... Right. Mm -hmm. You were lying, but you actually made the video. And just in case you do want to lie, let me go ahead and pull it up. I'm so tired of Paris' lies. It's okay. Just keep lying. Do you? As long as the people know. It makes a whole lot of sense that Girl Let's Talk just dropped off y'all. Oh, matter of fact, Is Paul feeding you lines? Is Paul feeding you lines? 
Yes, Carmen. Carmen. Yes, the spin doctor. What are you going to say? I knew I was recorded, so I said that. Right. I don't care if they said I chopped it up. They know what's going on. Clearly. You lied and said I, I, I was I was blackmailing. So. Exactly. Lying. Hey, Star Flames. And she only said that because she told so many lies that she couldn't keep up. Exactly. She couldn't keep up. And they know it's the truth. That's why Troletta was mad yesterday. Exactly. Then she had the nerve to say I misspoke, but never went back to to alter or edit the video. Exactly. But I don't care. You scared they gonna tell your name? So y'all know why Paris does what Paris does. Paris was afraid that Lipstick Alley would expose Paris, not me. 